In this video from the studiofiles.com, I'm going to talk all about exporting and importing different file formats in Logic Pro. Now we're going to talk about OMF and AAF, but first let's talk about exporting each track as an audio file. This is for all you Pro Tools users who haven't bought the really expensive DV toolkit yet. If you go to File, Export, All Tracks as Audio Files, now Logic is going to ask you where to put these files. Let's put them on the desktop. And let's create a new folder and just call it audio export. Now, for the save format, keep it in whatever you recorded it in originally. So let's put it in wave. And then for the bit depth, leave it in the original bit depth. That way you won't have to apply dither. And hit save. Now, if you notice, Logic is going to scroll through our file here and look for any audio regions. It's almost like a bounce. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer than a bounce, and it definitely takes a lot longer than an OMF or an AAF, but for the DAWs that don't accept those, this is an awesome, awesome feature. And this is the last thing it's going to do, is just going to create an overview for each file. This isn't a very big session, so it shouldn't take long. If you do have a big session, this will take a fair amount of time. And now once it's done here, I'm going to hit F11 to zoom out of Logic. And on my desktop here, I made the audio export folder. And if you open that up, you'll see all of our WAV files here nice and neat. So in Pro Tools, just go to Import Audio, import this folder, and it will put each track on an individual track for each audio file on an individual track for you. Very cool. All right, let's talk about OMFs. Same menu, File, Export, and Project as an OMF file. Now there's two different versions of OMFs. There's version 1 and there's version 2. Stick with version 2. Version 1 is an old format. It's not as functional. It's not as compatible. Version 2 is a lot better. Now include the audio. For convert interleave to split stereo, I would go ahead and do that. Um, some DAWs only like split stereo and it doesn't really matter because you can always change it back later. And don't convert from 24-bit to 16-bit if you can because that way you have to apply dither. So let's leave that off. Hit OK. And it's going to ask us where we want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. And let's call it Video OMF. And we're going to save. And this is really quick. It's just exporting each file. Hit F11. And there is our OMF file right there. OK, let's go back into Logic for one final one. Let's do an AAF file. Export. AAF file. Now this is very similar to an OMF, except for that you have an AAF file and you have an audio files folder to keep track of. So let's put it on the desktop again. And we have sample rate of 44.1. Let's change the bit depth back to 24 because that's our original bit depth. And let's call it something meaningful. Let's call it video AAF and hit save. Very similar to the OMF, it's just going to copy the audio files over here. Let's hit F11, and here are your files. You have an AAF and the audio files folder. Keep track of those when you're transferring from computer to computer or DAW to DAW because you're going to need both the AAF and the audio files folder. All right, let's talk about importing. Go back into Logic. Now let's close this project so we can import one of those. Let's, let's import the OMF. They're, the AAF and the OMF import the exact same way, so we're just going to do one. So close this project. It's not save. Now in order to import, you can't just import right away. You actually have to have a new project open. So we're just going to create an empty project. Now remember when you open Logic, it's going to ask you to create a new track. Just create whatever. And we'll resize the window to see a little bit better. All right, now you're ready to import. So file, import. And you don't have to do this, but just so we can see our file better, go to OMF interchange files. And Logic darkens everything with the OMF. And you open it. Now it's going to ask us where to import the audio data. Now we didn't save this project yet, so for now let's just make a folder. If you did save the project, I would suggest just putting it in the audio files folder. So let's call this OMF import audio. And we'll put it in there. And it's just importing each track. Creating the overviews real quick here. I guess not that quick. 
depending on the number of files you have and how many audio files you're importing for each track, this could take anywhere from a couple minutes to even longer. So make sure you've got a fast computer with lots of RAM. And if you zoom out, this looks just like the audio files in our original project. So now you know all about exporting and importing different file formats in Logic Pro.